from Leeds Grenville. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise today to recognize two incredible girls from the village of Merrickville in my riding of Leeds Grenville. Twelve-year-old Taylor Horning and her ten-year-old sister Peyton are proof that you can make a difference in this world at any age. The girls were devastated last year when they saw images of the environmental damage caused by the oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico. What happened to the wildlife on the U.S. Gulf Coast stirred something inside of them. Although it happened far from home, they felt compelled to do what they could to help. So while many other kids relaxed during the summer, Taylor and Peyton worked tirelessly on their mission. They collected hair and fur from 26 hair salons and pet groomers in three cities. I'm proud to say the girls collected an amazing 1,000 pounds of hair and fur that were made into hair booms used to soak up the oil. Mr. Speaker, Taylor and Peyton have set a fine example to others their age that if children have a commitment and dedication, they can get things done. But I'm not the only politician who's taking notice of these outstanding young agents of environmental change. Just prior to Christmas, the girls were delighted to receive a Presidential Environmental Youth Award from U.S. President Obama. I'm sure everyone in this House will join me today in applauding Taylor and Peyton Horning. Girls, I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.